Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to make kielbasa sausage with cabbage. It's super simple, so please keep watching. I like to start off with my head of cabbage. I will take off the outer layer, kind of like you do on an onion, cut it in half, and then slice the long ways. Next I'll just slice down the middle to get smaller bite-sized pieces. Go ahead and put all this in a bowl and continue with the other half. Again, you want to slice it long ways. And then once again, down the middle. And I'll probably end up using 75% of the head of cabbage. Next, I'm going to take my bacon. I love peppered bacon, but you can use non-peppered bacon, just kind of whatever you want to. I ended up using about half of the package. I cut up a little bit more later. I don't show it in this clip, but I felt like I needed to add a few more pieces. Okay, so here I'm just going to line the bacon up and cut into small sections. You don't want to cut into diced sized pieces. Just a rough top will be perfect. And I swear I use jalapeno in almost everything I cook. So I take one jalapeno here, take the seeds out and the center vein, and I do finely dice this. I love having that extra heat in there and jalapeno adds so much flavor. So if you like the extra spice, feel free to use one or two, however much you like. But if you don't like it, then you don't need it. There's plenty of flavor with the bacon and salt and pepper, of course. Now I have preheated a pan. I'm gonna cook everything in this pan, so it's real easy. Put the bacon in here. We're gonna let it cook for a few minutes. I put the lid on, I let it cook for a little bit longer. You want to cook it till it's brown, you know, till it's done as you would want to eat it. I just make sure to keep stirring and don't get rid of the bacon grease. I know it's probably not the healthiest thing in the world, but leave the bacon grease because that's what we're going to cook the cabbage in. And I did put in some salt and pepper. So a few minutes have gone by. Again, I'm going to stir and, well, I guess I'll stir next. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to add the jalapeno and let it cook again. Let it brown out. At this point, you're going to add your cabbage. And I usually add about half of what I've cut up. Mix it around real good, of course. Make sure all the, um, the moisture gets on it. And then I add a little bit more depending on how um, much of the cabbage is actually cooked down. So what I'll do here is I'll stir it up again. I'll put the top back on, let it cook, and then I'll add some more in a little bit. Robert's outside grilling. There is hot dogs. We're not using hot dogs, but those are kielbasa sausage. He likes a snack on the hot dogs, so just ignore those. All right, so let's get back to the cabbage. You want to open it up. Give it a good stir and then add some more cabbage to that mixture. Salt and pepper is um, probably my favorite seasoning. Of course, I always put it in there, so don't forget your salt and pepper. Pop the lid back on, let it cook a little longer. And really, you can just kind of eyeball it. You can tell when it's finished and, oh, it smells so good. I added a little bit more pepper to that. All right, looks like we're done. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up, my favorite part. So depending on how much you want to eat, obviously just, you know, dish up however much you feel like eating for that night. So I put on a good couple spoonfuls, and then I'm going to go over here and add the sausage to it. In this clip, I just kind of put them on their whole, but you'll see in a second that I did cut them up. Here's a close-up, and he browns the skin. It is delicious. I don't eat them any other way. And so there you go. There's dinner.
Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope it turns out as delicious for you as it did for me. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box below. I'd be happy to get back with you. Also, please check back on my channel. I will be putting up some more videos for you guys here soon. So thank you again for watching and have a great day.